Yes, hi, uh, my name is Bernard Brault. I'm with OTN Systems. And if you've been following this video series that I'm doing, uh, basically what we've done so far is uh, we had a network that looks like this. And uh, basically we, what we did is we added a, uh, a certain number of tunnels. And these tunnels are used to actually uh, connect services. The services is what's carrying your traffic and the traffic goes connects to a, a port on the x and then uh, these ports uh, go over different tunnels that we can visualize here. So for example, uh, the ring or ring 5 and so on. Uh, so <clears throat> what we've done so far is add tunnels and services to an existing network. Now let's say that we have a different task and the task is to uh, add seven nodes uh, in a horseshoe way connected to node 1050 here and 1070 and it would sort of move up here and have like along this path here something like uh, six additional nodes. So a couple of ways we could do this is by purchasing the nodes, connecting them and the discovery process and there's a tool for that discovery right here would discover these nodes and import the hardware and so on and then from there you could build services on top of the uh, discovered nodes and and the links uh, however it might be interesting to do it up front and the way to do it up front would be could be to go to the network hardware tab and uh, and there uh, basically add nodes and links and so on and that's a uh, for one node it makes a lot of sense because you just add a device you go right here and it tells you what kind of shelf do you want and then you select the uh, let's say a 19 inch you give it a node number and so on and then you populate the shelf with the modules that you need but if you need to do this in a uh, repetitive way uh, it's this is what I'm going to show you here is the power of scripting uh, so um, this is a network and let's go into uh, take a look at the script that I uh, just built and created so uh, the script right here uh, you see in one line you can create a node and this uh, the second line here creates a module inside the node so this particular set of sequence here will create a node along with these modules inside and these modules are basically the uh, DC power supply AC power supply a couple of uh, one gig uh, cards, a 4T1, a uh, central switching uh, uh, fabric, a couple of 10 gig ports, uh, and so on. And um, it's just a for loop, and we're going to do this uh, for a certain number in a certain range, and that range is going to be uh, dependent on the number of uh, nodes we want to create in this ring. All right, so let's run this script and see what it does. All right, run in Python Interactive. It says, all right, number of nodes in ring uh, 7. Uh, so it's going to be ring 71 in the 7100 range. So let's say uh, we're going to create uh, 7 nodes. All right, so then the script is going to run. And you see you create node 1, node 2, third, a fourth node, a fifth node, and so on. It's going to create the 7 nodes. And finally, here's creating all the links uh, to interconnect this. All right, so we're done with the script. Let's close this. and. Um, so takes care is working on importing these uh, additional nodes and as you can see here um, they're all sort of like bundled right here so obviously they're not in the right spot they don't know where they belong and that's why we have a tool for layout so if I go inside the layout tool right I see that these nodes let me remove the grid the nodes now I've taken this shape right here so obviously they're not in the right spot and what I'm gonna do is move them up in this area right there and there we have it so I'm just gonna pause here and then I'm gonna lay out the uh, the nodes by uh, uh, simply selecting them and laying them out uh, uh, one by one in, in, in some some nice fashion something that makes a little more sense uh, for what I'm doing and I'll come back to you okay so uh, I'm back and uh, as you can see I just laid them out in uh, like a box fashion and uh, what I want to do next is uh, instead of having this link right there and I want to delete this link and I actually want the link to be connected to 1050 here at a 10 gig level here and 1070 is going to connect to 7740 right there and delete this link right here so how do I do this um, uh, I do this through the uh, network hardware tab so I go in the link and it'll bring back the network and this time around in the link section I'm going to select this link and delete it 
and as I mentioned I want to add a link between there and 1050 at the 10 gig level so you notice that I do have a 10 gig port available there and that's the second port here but if I go to uh, 1050 um, I don't have any available ports and that's because I have two 10 gig cards and they're both used as you can see on both sides there so one of the things I need to do there is add some cards so um, uh, those were uh, nodes 1050 and 1070 so let's go to the network hardware and 1050 and 1070 let's go and edit these uh, uh, nodes oh sorry 1050 1070 there you go I could send somebody out to these nodes and insert a 10 gig module and this is node 1050 uh, and uh, but you know instead of doing that why don't I just add the uh, card here I'm gonna get an alarm until the card gets actually inserted so I'm adding a third 10 gig module here close this and at 1070 we're gonna add again the same thing a uh, third 10 gig module and by the way you have up to four 10 gig modules that you could put on the uh, current version of the extra okay so um, back into the link now if I look at the 10 gig <clears throat> I see that I have available port right there connected to the third one that we just added right here and same thing there to the third card that we just recently added and we're done here except for maybe the layout let's take a look at the layout and um, no I like it so that's fine take a look here so we added the uh, sub ring here 7740 and I showed you a little bit of a trick with the scripting adding all of these nodes uh, automatically importing that through a script and uh, and then editing that ring deleting a link adding a couple of links and a couple of modules to uh, to make it happen well I hope you enjoyed this thank you very much for watching